Hello and welcome to the TFJJ. Now today, as you can see behind me, I'm in this very special warehouse. Um, I've not seen anything like it before in my life. It's basically an insane collection of Mercedes, Porsche, Volkswagen, um, lots and lots of classic cars, BMW as well. We're gonna take a look through them. They're all barn finds. They're all being stored here um, and are coming up for sale uh, with London Barn Finds on Instagram. So I'll give them a little tag uh, and you can follow the link to their page, but wow, this collection's insane. We'll do a little walk around it. So I'll give you a full tour of the collection that we've got in this warehouse. Not allowed to say exactly where it is, but it's in London. Starting with this R107 280SL. Got some Morris Miners. There's quite a mix of cars here. We've got a Porsche 911. I believe this is a 964 um, Cabriolet. Varying states, these cars. I'm told they all run I'm just testing that now. They've all driven in here at some point. 350SL, R107. 500SL, this is really cool, big V8. Another SL there. It's got some more sporty wheels on it, looks really cool. 280SL, so many of these SLs. We've got a BMW. Hatchback. I don't actually know what that is, but it looks cool. More and more SLs as we come through. I believe that's a Triumph Stag. There's quite a few British sports cars in here. Plates upside down on that one. MG Midget, I believe that is. That SL is battered. 280 SL. This um, Jeep's quite cool. Austin Jeep. BMW 2002, I think this is one of the more valuable cars here. Morris Minor Traveller. This is cool, it's got some coach lines, like on the Bentleys that you see on this SL. The scale of this place is just incredible. Some insight into what the interior looks like if you left it out for many, many years. Another SL here. This one's got almost a sort of orangey interior there. What's the mileage on this? 144,000 miles. Got an MG older car here. Really dusty looking interior. This is cool as well. This is a BMW 6 series. Got that twin tailpipe at the rear. We've got a G Wiz over there, which is a bit of a surprise. Lots of MGBs, various coupes, roadsters. That BMW is really nice. Some of the prices for these just sort of scrawled in the windows in the dust. That's quite cool, a coupe, I believe that's a CE. Mercedes Benz 320i or 520i this one. Very cool. Now this is cool as well. I think this is a 535 V6 engine in this one. It's interesting seeing the varying states of the interiors. That one looks not too bad. Mainly the paintwork that suffered from the storage. 
It's actually green this one, that's really nice. Fin tail on this Mercedes. There's just so much here. There's loads of uh, camper vans as well. We've got some minis. There's two more minis here. So much to see. I think those fetch quite a bit in good condition. We'll see what these fetch. Um, but everything in here is for sale. Um, it's an entire collection being sold off. Got some Beatles, another camper van, MGB, that's a V8, MGB GT, that's quite rare. Rover, lots of Land Rovers as well as we come over this side. These uh, 50s, 60s Mercedes Benzes are really cool. This one's a 190. This one uh, doesn't even have one of its windows. But yeah, all uh, good project cars. You can hear one of the cars running in the background. Land Rover's really cool. Range Rover here, this one's just been started up. Defender. Range Rover, another one just here. Mercedes is pretty cool. Got a proper long one here. SEL or SE. And then back here we've got an old three-door G-Wagon, which I think is really cool. 320 or 300 GD. There we go. It's like. Uh, it's like being in Dubai or something. It's an incredible warehouse full of cars. Just go and see what we've got tucked away in here as well. Because there are some more cars just behind this Defender. Got another R107. Pretty cool paint job on this one. So this one has only got just over 30,000 miles. So inside, it's like new, really. You see the uh, sound system and everything there. Beautiful interior. Whereas the outside is a different story. <laughs> 